Hey guys, first off, what are you doing here? Go over to Mr. Ripper's channel, links down below. He's got part one to this video. And then, if you have watched that, welcome to part two. Playing Shard, a game starring a host of anthropomorphic beasts as PCs. Absolute freeze. <laughs> Playing it because friends clamoured for it. Brought the book and all. Hope to God it doesn't go badly. Roll up a crazy ex-pirate. In it for the bitches. Yeah. Start off in prison. Oh well. Get some money, buy a hooker, natch. Friend graphically describes sexing. Makes me roll for stamina. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dark heresy. Running madly through a chaos ship, planting bombs. Not sure how we're getting off this ship, right? Probably a suicide mission anyway, so fuck it. Nearing the end of the mission, we open a door. Ask to describe what's in a room. It's a dark room with a single shaft of light that falls upon a little green creature that is mostly tentacles, chained in the middle of the room. It looks at you and begins to speak. It says, Help me out of this prison! And I... Nope, shut the door and keep going. Never trust anything with tentacles. Pick unrelated. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Playing D&D with a group of people I've never met before. Two of them are elves and one of them is a shard mind. I roll up a dwarven avenger. DM looks at me and says, Oh, dwarves aren't in this setting? Nope, dot jpeg. See, boys that don't have like dwarves. So well <laughs> I know. Them. I love dwarves. I, this, I really enjoy dwarves. Don't get me wrong. I love elves too, though. I love it because my attitude is just <laughs> yeah, oozes are. dwarf. <laughs> yeah, it does. Be honest. Playing a low fantasy game in a kind of Mesoamerican setting. Players who are explorers from a frozen kingdom across the sea climb off their ships and set up a camp. Our food was lost on the voyage, so we attempt to find something to eat. The party scald catches a large lizard thing, and we roast it over the campfire set up on the beach. As the man who caught the food, the scald eats first. Then he tells us a story as we begin to eat. Halfway through the first line, his neck balloons and his eyes, nose and mouth weep blood. He dies. Nope.jpg. We all had to roll to induce vomiting. Then we threw the lizard into the sea. Wasn't the worst thing to happen that session. Is that like food of ours or something? <laughs> <laughs> something somewhere anyway. Used to play D&D &D and Alterney. DM was a friend of a friend. Guy was alright at first, but got weirder and sketchier the more I hung around him. Made my friend's character a plot device in every campaign. Called him out on it. Denies the claim. We only had major plot sessions when friend was home from the marines at the time. Campions were poorly written, mostly just based on guess what movie, TV, game series this is ripped off from. Storytelling that was most of the time holding your hand to move it along. Would go off and lame stories of previous sessions he had. Keeps doing it despite the fact we told him we didn't care. Went into great detail once how he downloaded child porn to be a what? troll. Oh my what god. The fuck is this? Fucking turn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Doesn't see what's wrong about it. <laughs> nope.exe <laughs> Needless to say, I'm never playing another game with him ever again. Fuck you, Liam. I know you're reading this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Testing early Pathfinder with old pre made game, Kill Bargle. You may be familiar with this adventure. Playing a human ranger. Plenty of traps and nonsense getting up to this point. Does every chimney in this place have a monster shoved up it? Who keeps a zombie in a box? Walked around a rug covering an obvious pit trap, only to get teleported into it later. An alley gets covered with ooze, opened the correct door at last. There's Bargle, all setting up to monologue. Welcome to my inner sanctum. Nah. Nah, nah nope. No, no, nope. no, nah, mate, sorry. Slam door shut, cram allies into tiny five foot room, all ready actions to drop ranged attacks on the first thing we see. Open door, move in strike team style. Nook Bargle when he jumps out of the shadows at us. As expected, doppelganger. One round later, he's dead. We move on. More shit. Sneak past some ogres. Guess the correct password under a barrier. Find the real Bargle. At last, we meet my friend. No! 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 <laughs> no! The resulting alpha strike nails him down to one hit point through his ready defences. 
and we chase him through the secret passageways to find him trying to escape with bags of gold loaded onto a red dragon. Don't think you've seen the last of Bart. No, hell no. <laughs> Mage's magic missile, my throne axe, and Clark's spiritual weapon all intersect at roughly Bargle's face. And he dies a grisly death and falls off the dragon. He shrugs and flies away with most of the treasure. We didn't even care. By the end of that adventure, we did indeed have only one mission. Kill Bargle. d and Forgotten realmish setting. New DM. First session. We are Guild, which has become rather famous and is now receiving mundane mercenary requests, is asked to deal with the town's goblin infestation. DM states we can't use our airship as to not frighten the populace of pirates. The town is a day away by caravan. Go there. The town guard are all missing. The army is missing. The goblin infestation consists of seven goblins dicking around in a town of over 100 people. Nope, kill goblins. On way back through town, notice an odd altar had been set up, spewing some black aura. We examine. Roll high arcana and get... You can tell that touching this will immediately kill you. Nah. Nope. Nope. Collect their gold and leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a cut <laughs> Fuck that. See if you come across something that says, oh, mate, this is going to be a really good chance, Cal, and you'd say, can't wait. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Next session. Next day. Back at our guild's castle. We stole the hideaway from a slaving ring, currently renovating. Same two people from the other day come looking for our help. Aura has expanded to outside town. The town guard had been called back, but once they re-entered... The whole of the town went pitch black and they disappeared. Same with the army. Same with some hired mercenaries. They want us to go into the town to investigate. They will pay us after the fact. Nope, we counter-offer. Stating they pay us to escort them back safely and defend their town as best we can from outside of the aura while they figure it out. They don't take the counter-offer. They insist on their way. Well, how about you just go fucking die? <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> instead. We point out there is literally no reason to want our help, and if they know of any specialists. They state that a town near theirs has specialists in necromantic magic. They haven't checked it out yet. We offer to escort them there, for a fee, and check out the situation before re-evaluating our position. No, you must agree to go in against unknown danger that only seems to target armed mercenaries and guards and soldiers before you find out information on the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Inform them we won't and they can take their time to contemplate it. They state they won't budge. I added the finishing touch, telling them that they have the chance to decide anyways. However, if they take more than a day, there will be an additional contemplation fee to compensate for jobs we could have taken during this time. <laughs> DM rage quits. Our DM rage quit because these people would not shell out gold and slash or listen to a reasonable counter offer. And due to the idiocy of these DM control characters, he could not railroad us. Nope. No, no, no. Nah. No. Not Allow me to get the transcript I saved from my online DH game. <clears throat> what greets your eyes is a sanity blasting experience. Women lie around a huge room, pregnant and moaning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck have we got into? Here? The room is made of plaster and lit by two huge fires, which come from two people standing still. What? Chanting and burning alive. Woo! <laughs> They're not even moving, just burning. One man is standing in the centre of the room, stripped to the waist, wearing dirty blue pants. He holds something bloody and dripping in his hands. You can faintly hear a crying sound coming from it. Tentacles oh, extend Jesus. from the floor. Why is there always tentacles? I don't know. Tentacles extend from the floor and glow with a faint luminescence. This is going to sound funny, but the tops of the tentacles are dicks. <laughs> oh God. Some of them caress the girls and some wave in the air, quickly followed by, born of the pleasure and birthed in pain. I take my child and make him a part of me. Long live the dark prince and let his gift live through me. Our GM then told us, Ray's eating, the girls are crawling, and I'm wet. My fucking face wham. 
Or at Jesus night, fucking Jesus Christ. What the fuck is wrong with people? Fucking heresy. See, now that's Ganesh. That's Ganesh. <laughs> that wasn't like that bullshit story we did the other day. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Some time ago in California, trying to find D&D game to play. Last group pretty cool, but working professionals, so never meet. Hear about new, friendly local game store in a nice area. Go there. Turns out, it's Magic the Gathering uh. store. Oh, with some comics and snacks on the shelf. Nope, <laughs> I had no bite there too. Yeah. <laughs> on way out, notice sign saying D&D night. Show up on Tuesday night, everyone else shows up late. Like, ten people. Introductions all round. Start noticing weird stuff. Like one Asian kid's fingernails are six <laughs> inches long. Holy good shit. <laughs> start, start rolling up a character. DM stops me and hands me a notebook. Tells me I have to use a race out of it. All anthro race. Oh God. Oh. All anthro races. <laughs> the book of furries. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it is a book of furries. He just Shrugs. Roll up the least homosexual ranger I can think of. DM takes me aside and starts heaping tons of weird shit on me. Like extra feats and crazy abilities and sentient pets. DM starts sometimes referring to Mitzi at odd moments in conversation. Turns out DM pretends to be multiple personality disorder. (laughs) (laughs) Absolute state of people, like... Get back to game. DM starts referring to shadow creatures. Nobody's from Kingdom Hearts. Character gets introduced. Intros all around. Turns out Grip is full-on furry gay. Yeah, I, I worked that bit out. <laughs> yeah, you you book, book of furries. furries. <laughs> Only female in Grip attempts to literally glump me. I don't want to know, I don't know what, is. what that look. It's, it's a furry version of I, I don't want to know what that means know. in reality. So, okay. Oof, I run for the fucking door. Yeah. No! Yeah. No, no, no! Oh, be, see, be honest, he should have he turned down the second set yeah. Magic the Gathering store. Yeah. First time I ever seen a furry in real life, we were at Comic Con. Oh, yeah, we were. And yeah. I didn't. I was like, like hmm. guys, I, guys, I didn't know what the internet was. I thought the internet was Google and Facebook until I started dating him. And he was like, welcome to this world. And he like, opened it up for me. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. We were sitting, we were sitting in Comic-Con. Yeah. And in it was like walks, a panel. It was like it was a, yeah. It wasn't. It was, even, a, it was like a com- costume contest yeah, thing. Yeah, costume. And in walks all these furries. And I was like, oh, they look cool. And James was like. No, no, <laughs> Megan, let's go away from here, <laughs> please. Oh, uh, fuck, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Yeah. About two years back, but what the hell. Playing my Slanesh Marines list in a tourney, yeah. or like a tournament? Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck calls it tourney? Like, seriously. The same type of person that name fags himself fucking Slaneshy Horgle. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> People asking me what I brought. Many of them laugh. Tell me I should go home before spending money on entrance fees. Nope. First round that I face is the backup organiser for the event. Mid-battle he concedes since he needs help to run the tourney. A tourney. I'm going to put it out here that night. The the thing's a shit show. One of the organisers like, yo, I'm going to play anyway. (laughs) Second round. An all Zeech Chaos Space Marine army that I wipe off the board in two turns. Only kills a few of my noise marines. Third round. Orcs. Their codex had just come out. Foot slog and shooter boys. I lash him up and blow each unit to kingdom come each turn. Fourth round. Tau player. Offers for me to surrender before the match starts. (laughs) Nope. Fucking fucking Tau players. Longest game of the tourney. (laughs) Wipes his only two scoring units. Killed all 32 of his crit in one combat phase. Dude almost rage quits. Starts throwing his models into the bag each time I kill another. Organizer announces the winners. I come in second. Because I had less total kill points than the witch cult Dark Elder player I am friends with. We high five and shout, Victory for Slanesh! (laughs) <laughs> that sounds like a fucking Sam person moment in there. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our part and Mr. Whipper's part. Honestly, see if you sat through this whole one and you haven't seen Mr. Whipper's part. Sorry, life out. Go ahead. Links yeah. down below. Go over and watch it. Leave a comment from Necky Fam down yeah. below with Mr. Rippers. Yeah. Let him know and subscribe to him and like his all stuff. That, all that other there. good shit. You know what I mean? Um, honestly, I really enjoyed this thread. If you have any stories yourself of like, you know, note moments or just let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Or just like, you know, disaster moments in any form of yeah. tabletop leave game. Leave them down below. For leave them down below. Sure, who knows? If we get enough of them, maybe me and Mr. Ripper could do another one. Yeah. And, you know, I think I think that would be pretty cool. But like, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. All the good shit check out mr ripper suck his dick you know a lot and we'll <laughs> see you in the next video bye oh.